All right, welcome back everybody. Let's do example 6.2.3. I want to evaluate the integral of 1 over square root of 9x squared plus 4dx. Now I want to show you this example because um, although it doesn't look exactly like what we had in our method, we don't have a squared plus x squared. We have an extra constant here. You can actually use the idea of building a triangle to solve it as well. Note that you could also, let me put that right here, just for those of you who'd like to try it. You could actually do this by first um, subbing u equals 3x. So you think of 9x squared plus 4 as 3x squared plus 4 and then you change it to u squared plus 4. So you first do this substitution and then step two, uh, our method here. So you would have u equal um, to tan theta. All right, but what I like about the second solution is the fact that it actually relies on the triangle and on not the exact recipe that we're teaching you close to the recipe, but it relies on your understanding of the recipe to push it a bit further. All right, so let's look at this. I want to build a triangle and I want this part to be the hypotenuse. All right, so we're using a triangle. To get that, I'm going to need 3x and 2. So it's slightly different. I have the 3x here. Note that it's the same one as there. Uh, and so I get that tan theta is 3x over 2, opposite over adjacent. And so I'm going to replace, I'm going to use this identity to replace it. I'm going to assume that 3x is 2 tan theta. That means that 3dx is 2 secant square theta d theta. And so dx is 2 thirds secant square theta d theta. And using the triangle again, um, secant theta will be the square root divided by adjacent, so 2. And so my square root is 2 secant theta. All right, so using all of this, the integral of the top was 1 stays 1. The denominator is the square root, so that's 2 secant theta. And then the dx here, I'm going to replace by 2 thirds secant square theta d theta. That's a 3. Yes. All right, the 2's cancel. One of the secants cancel. So I get 1 third integral of secant theta d theta. And this is one of the ones that we've learned. It's secant plus tan inside a log. All right, and now I'm going to use the triangle to get the secant and the tan back. Um, actually, I have them here, but you can read them from the triangle too. I actually spelled it out. So secant is 9x plus 4 square root divided by 2. Tan is 3x on 2 plus c. All right, that's it. So that's it for this chapter. That's it for all techniques of integration. We've seen them all at this point.